The 14th Congressional District of New York is located in the New York City borough of Queens. There are over 18 mosques in Queens, and the majority of the area's residents are from Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, China, Ireland, or Latin America. Local resident Arif Kazi says public opinion in the area is highly critical of Israel. It's uh, using overwhelming force. It's, uh, it's just killing uh, people of Gaza indiscriminately. And I think what it is doing uh, is humanly wrong. Despite the views of Queens residents, Joseph Crowley, who represents the district in the United States Congress, is considered one of the biggest supporters of Israel, working closely with the American-Israeli Public Affairs Committee. Hundreds of protesters assembled to protest Crowley's actions. The protesters felt that Representative Joseph Crowley was not representing the people of his district, who are largely opposed to Israel and its crimes. Queens resident Naeem Islam said he felt that the money given to Israel by the United States could be better used for local initiatives. Just this past year, they increased the funds to $3.2 billion. That is money that could be used in this country to create jobs, to help schools, and, but instead it's being used to fund Israel to killing innocent Palestinians. Ron Duncan, another local, said the people of Queens have nothing to gain from Israel's crimes. His job, his job is not, he wasn't elected to, to support Israel, he was elected to do a job for the people in Queens. Uh, and we are the representative of the people in Queens saying that he shouldn't be, you know, voting to spend our money and to, to give support to a, a, a war that is not essentially ours. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The crowd of protesters marched to Crowley's office. They were prevented from entering, but outside they held a loud demonstration, waving the Palestinian flag and supporting the right of people in Gaza to engage in acts of resistance. On our Arab brothers and sisters. Many speakers questioned the nature of U.S. democracy when such a gap can exist between public opinion and the actions of elected representatives. Caleb Maupin, Press TV, New York.